Hello everybody. Today I have a uh, few clips for you guys from some metal detecting videos that uh, go all the way back to 2020. Most of this is 2020 and 2021 videos that I had um, a few clips still saved here and there that I didn't use elsewhere. But there's some good finds and some interesting stuff, so thought I would share it with you guys. It's still snowy outside, although it is beginning to warm up. It rained yesterday, and it's starting to thaw some of the snow out. I could actually get out this morning and pull up a couple of my Christmas yard decorations because they weren't totally frozen to the ground anymore, just partially. I had to work at it in a couple of spots, but we got them up finally. So uh, there's hope on the horizon. So while we're waiting for the ground to continue to thaw out, take a look at this from times where it was a little bit warmer. Hey guys. Get that. Cassie found something here. It's the size of a nickel. Give me the buffalo nickel. Give me the buffalo juice. Oh, I got to keep digging some more here. Let's see what else we can get. I found myself a bucket lister. I got a crotal bell. It's a weedy. You found a weedy? Yes. Sweet. A Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar. Oh my god, it's freaking gorgeous. Indian. You got an Indian? Oh my god, Cassie got an IHP. Needless to say, I am a happy camper. First target was down there. My pinpointer is way down there. A little dirt fell back in the hole, so there's maybe another half inch on top of that. But I just pulled out a buckle. Check that out. I don't think it's hugely old. That probably would be turn of the century, maybe 1800s. But it looks like it still works. That's a pretty cool one. I like this. At least I can say I came away with something for the day. Everything else has just been iron. Because I have pounded the area, like I said. But we're going to keep going. Hey guys, we are out here the Saturday after Thanksgiving 2020 to do a little bit of metal detecting. Um, before I get started though, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about the little hand digger shovel that I uh, have mentioned in a couple of videos. Um, I really like this thing. This was given to me uh, by a company just to try it out and see if I liked it. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. They just saw uh, some of the stuff that I was doing and said, hey, uh, I think you could use this. You want to try it out? You don't, we'll send it to you. You know, does it cost you anything? Heck yeah, I'll give it a try. Uh, this is a pretty cool little device. Uh, it's probably Chinese made. Um, you know, I like to support the U.S. companies, um, but I also like to save a buck, and if, especially if you're a beginning detectorist and you need something to use, something like this is awesome. Um, it's $16. That's a one and a six, guys, for something that's a, seems to be a quality part. Um, it's not that long, super lightweight, very strong, the way this rib goes along the back to strengthen it. Has a bottle opener on the side, knife edge there serrated edge on this side nail puller little part there and this is a uh, this notch section is actually like for hex um, bolts and screws so it's also you know doubles as like your survival tool it has um, the paracord wrapped around it the only thing that was weird is the uh, cover that's over the end of it was sent separately in the box I guess you could choose whether to use it or not. And I'm like, well, I, I want it. There was no hole in the end of it, so I just drilled a quarter inch hole in it and pulled the paracord through and used it that way. I think it's how it should have been from the factory, to be honest. Very sharp. I suppose if I had any complaints, I would like to have maybe the blade be an inch longer and the handle be an inch longer. And um, it blends in really good in the dirt and the grass. So maybe have uh, the paracord as high vis orange or something like that. Um, otherwise, post, I'll post a picture of it up for you here to show you what the page looks like on Amazon. 
Um, you know, if you're looking for something cheap or something as a gift for somebody, um, it's worth a try. So I, I really like this and I'm glad to have it. Um, I still like my Wilcox hand digger, but uh, this is a great little addition. So just wanted to do that real quick. Now let's go do some detecting. All right, here we are. The first signal was that classic nickel 12 and 13 signal. A miss, I don't I think there might be multiple targets, but first one. Is that it? Oh my gosh, my first target of the day is a buffalo nickel. Check this out, guys. That is awesome. Yes. Holy cow, I can't see worth the crap, so I don't know if there's a date there. I think there might be. Let me get some better glasses on and see what I can see here. Oh my gosh, guys. A buff for my first, uh, first target. Alright, I got the better glasses, but I'll be danged if I can see a date. I don't know, can you see one there? Maybe the oh, wait 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 that's it right there isn't it? Does that say twenty eight? Yeah, it might be a nineteen twenty eight. We'll look closer when we get home, but I think that's it right there. Sweet, and it was on edge. It was double tapping, so yeah, it, it was on edge. That may be why it was double tapping. But we'll take that. Let's keep going, see what else we can get. I don't have a lot of time out today. I got somebody waiting for me at home already. <sighs> Sometimes things just never end, but that's okay. That's, 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 that's okay. Got a buff. All right, it is literally like four minutes later, and I had uh, something coming in at a solid 17 to 18. This is my second hole. And remember those buttons that we found? The general service buttons? I think I just got another one, and it's got a lot of guilt on it. Look at that. Holy cow. Man, that is nice. Wonder what went on here to have so many of these buttons out here. Let me uh let me grab a toothbrush and clean this off just a hair. Look at that thing glistening in the sun. That is nice, isn't it? Full shank. Wow, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Nice. Second target. Dang. Well, at least I know if I've got a short hunt, I've got a couple of things to go home with. So it's been worth it. And th this hunt started off weird because I got here and I realized I forgot my shovel. I had to go all the way back home to get my shovel. Dang. Alrighty, here we go. Let's keep going. Alright, guys. I got one here. I want to see if you can hear. I'm letting you hear it through my headphones. Good numbers, good depth, possible good target. So let's dig it together and see what we got. Ugh. I haven't done a live dig like this in a while, so bear with me if it sucks. <laughs> Never said I was good at it. I usually have my helpers here, my daughters, to help me out if I'm going to do something like this. With it being the holiday season, one of them's at work. I don't know what the other one's doing right now. Okay. Whew. I think it's right on the side of the plug there. Take my headphones off. It's get, actually getting warm out here. It's shallower than I thought, probably just a penny. Hmm. 
No, it's another one of those buttons. Check that out. Yeah. You guys helped me live dig one of those buttons. That is sweet. Nice. Good job, guys. Helping me out there. That's a nice one. I'm going to clean this one up real quick, like off camera here, so we can take a peek and see how good this one looks, too. And again, this one cleaned up really nice, too. Check that out. Nice. Lots of gilt left on it. Beautiful button. I wonder why there's so many of these out here. Wow. Let's keep going, though. Good job, guys. Thanks for helping out. All right. Now we have dueling plugs. I got two holes right next to each other. Right there is where we dug the uh, last button. And it rang up higher than it normally does, maybe because of the way it was sitting in the ground. I think the 16 and 17 is how they normally ring up. And I've got two of those signals here. One is here. Right here where the worm is. I guess the worm's guarding it. Oh, it's a pull tab. <laughs> Let's see if the other one's a pull tab. That's still in the hole. Get rid of this pull tab. Whoops, I dropped it. Missed it a little bit. That's how a pull tab usually does. You miss the pinpoint on them. Yeah, two pull tabs. <laughs> I got a pull tab spill. <laughs> Check that out. Okay, yeah, not exciting, is it? All right, for better or worse, we're going to try this again. I'll get you up here where you can hopefully hear my headphones. Twenty-three to twenty-six. Going fairly deep. So we are going to once again try a live dig and see what happens. Those are real similar numbers to the button. I still haven't left that area. I'm still I mean, like right over there somewhere is where I just dug the pull tabs, and just a couple of feet beyond that is where I dug the button. So we're right in the same area. All right. Plug is over. Let me grab my detector so we can see. Signal is out. Let's see where it is. doing something a bit different this week with the live digs. Ooh, it's a coin. See it right there. Bet it's just a penny. It's a memorial! No way! It's a 79 memorial. <laughs> Can't win them all, I guess. Alright, I think this is the last hole of the day. Maybe I'm almost back to the car and it's getting to be that time of day where I need to be getting home. I had one of those signals that again was kind of like iron. It gives you that chirp that it wants to almost kill off. Uh, like your iron bias wants to kill it off. But no matter which way, I, usually with iron though, you go one way and you'll get a chirp. And you turn 90 degrees and that chirp will go away. And if you turn your... Um, all metal mode on you'll hear that iron this way no matter which way I turned I was still getting a chirp and it was like in the 18 or 19 range just below where the iron falsing would be 
which is right around where you can get Indian heads. And sure enough, way down here, I've got a coin. Fingers crossed, let's see what it is. I might have three Indians for the weekend. And I say for the weekend, that includes Thanksgiving Day too, but there is a coin down there with a lot of dirt on it. Fingers crossed, guys. You got them crossed for me? Dang it, I think I see a memorial peeking through right there. That is a stinking Lincoln way down there. How does that even happen? I don't know, but we got it. So it's not gonna not gonna bug anyone else. Alright, this is my third signal. First was a zinc penny. Second one was a really deep square nail. And this one. Hopefully you can hear that in my headphones. It has the potential to be something decent, so... Wow, that shovel is cold without my uh, uh, gloves on. We're going to try jinxing ourselves with a live dig and see what we can see. It is cold and muddy. Ooh, that's a big old fat worm. Or half of it. I think I just chopped him in half. Let's get the detector. Are we in the plug? We're in the plug, so that probably means it's clad. But let's find out. Together. It's the worm. It's right over there, so it's not as deep as I was hoping. There. Hey, we got a wheat penny. Alrighty, hey, we just got ourselves a live dig wheat penny. That's all right, I'll take that. What year is it? It's a 19... I got a glare on the camera, 46, 1946. Hey, sweet, not bad. Live dig wheat penny. We'll take that any day. Not bad. I was not expecting anything to be honest out here today, so I'll take a wheat penny. That's that's awesome. Well, as you can see, we had some good finds. We had some good times. And uh, we're still waiting for warmer weather to get here so we can go out and do it again. But uh, I'm happy to share that with you guys. And uh, I know there uh, are those of you up in the northern areas like I'm in, waiting for that ground to thaw out, waiting for the snow to disappear. So we're all in there together. Hang in, we'll get there. And to our brothers and sisters in the south, um, can we come down and hunt with you? Because we're, we're in bad shape right now. <laughs> okay, maybe not, but you know what I mean. We're having fun, and um, we'll be out there digging soon. So talk to you guys later. Have a great day.